Condolences continue to pour in over the death of an Atlanta reality star. Ashley, Miss Minnie Ross, died over the weekend in a car crash. And tonight, Astrid in the ATL shows us how the star advocated for other people who share her disability. Every day, I go through a struggle with being big, with being, with my breathing. I am trying. Lovingly known as Miss Minnie on the Lifetime show Little Women Atlanta, Ashley Ross had a big mission. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. No, you don't. Understand. Understand. Yes, no, I do. you don't, because you're yes, not a little person, mom. To show the world the struggles experienced by little people. And for five seasons, her vulnerability won fans over, making Miss Minnie an Atlanta staple. I don't understand why it's a big deal. Like, okay. It is a big deal. You're my only child. What if something goes wrong? You don't get it because you don't have any children. Sadly, Sunday evening, the 34 year old passed away after being involved in a fatal car accident. Police tell me Minnie was driving south on Old National Highway near the Lantern Lane intersection. She hit the right side curb, lost control of the vehicle, crossed into the northbound lanes and struck a Ford Focus head on. Minnie was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital where she succumbed to her injuries. The driver of the Ford Focus suffered minor injuries. Police are working to learn what caused Minnie to lose control of her car. My, my, hey, let me tell you something. Look at my old lady shoe game. My old lady shoe game. Yes! Miss Minnie occasionally appeared on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Don't you ever disrespect my wife! Today, her friend reacted to her loss on social media, saying he and his staff are taking her death really hard and can barely make it through the day. And the sixth season of Little Women Atlanta was actually set to premiere this year. The entire season was actually filmed before Ross's death. Now, as you can see in that story, her mother cared for her deeply. Miss Minnie was the only child. She leaves behind her mother and aunt and uncle and her grandmother. And right now, the family, they're asking for privacy so that they could grieve. That's all for Astrid in the ATL.